flopping delicious. All right, that time again, time for another solo overnighter in the woods. Okay, it rained last night, and somehow this morning, every single cloud is gone. And that's going to suck, because it's going to whitewash everything out, and there's no settings on my camera or a filter that's going to get rid of it. So we're going to go ahead and do the best that we can and try to muster through it. Um, we have one upgrade to talk about, and then we're going to get to our actual overnighter. This overnighter is going to be different. It's going to be sort of a gear review. So I'll be trying it out for the first time, and I think you're going to like it. Okay, so last week we saw we had seat covers, and this week we have our actual new radio. We got a remote with it, so that's kind of cool, but I don't know, my point, kind of useless. Just my two cents. Boom. Okay, that sun glare is gonna be annoying and I apologize, There's nothing I can do about it. Um, I was hoping for cloud coverage and we're not gonna get any. So today's video is gonna be different. It's different in the fact that we are basically bringing items out to the field for an overnighter. Um, most time I bushcraft everything you can think of. And a lot of people don't understand that and they say things like, well, I'm not gonna watch it because it's something I wouldn't do in the field. Well, here's my take on that and I'll cover this briefly. If you're only going to watch YouTube to do things that you think you would do, you've just limited your entire scope of what's possible for you down to probably a fraction of 1%. I watch YouTube and I watch others create things so I can become inspired. And that was a simple goal of my channel. So if I'm not inspiring you, then yes, I agree with you. Don't watch. If you want to be inspired, I'm here for you. Now, back to this video. There's two things going on here. HG Hammock Gear provide me with a hammock. So I'm going to be demoing one of their new hammocks. And I want to take it a step further. I got thinking about it and I said, everybody hangs hammock off of trees. That's all they do. Um, what's going to make mine different? So scrolling through that website, I saw that they were in business with McLean Metalworks. That's up in Bend, Oregon. Now it's a fabrication shop. And what they've created was basically a bare bones XL, I believe it's called, um, hammock mount with a tire stand accessory and it basically opens up the playing field. About two and a half, three years ago, I did a video on a hammock hitch where you plug it into the actual hitch on your vehicle and it hangs off the back end. And it worked out pretty well. And it was cool. Um, the problem is that design was seriously flawed. And I had to basically create something out in the woods in order to hang a hammock off of it. And it was decent for that night. But long term, what I'd like to do is take something with me or carry it in my vehicle where I can put a hammock anywhere I want, any time of the day or night. Um, so HG um, Hammocks with the McLean Metalworks, they created a tire stand where if you don't have an actual hitch on your vehicle, you can simply wrap it around your tire, the back or the front, and hang your hammock stand off of that. And that's what we're going to demo today. So. Let me get set up and we'll come back and we'll talk through it. All right, so taking our tire stand accessory, I'm going to go ahead and place that centered on my tire. And then we have these two brackets. One's got the ratchet set up, and one does not. That will go on here, depending on the width of your tire. You may have to bring it in or out. And then from here, the strap will actually go around through that slot right there. Then you'll crank it down until it's tight.
Okay, so that's what I wanted to see. The rods will actually flex with the hammock, but the hitch itself is not moving. I'm actually rocking the vehicle. That's good to go. Um, and it's offset as well, so when the hammock's over here, there's no danger of actually hitting this hitch or falling through it. Um, I like this. So we have the Bare Bones XL hammock mount by McLean Metalworks, along with their tire stand accessory. Um, I'm liking this. And for those that are wondering, I have, I believe, 265, 75, R16 all-terrain tires by Toyo. And that tire accessory fits perfectly with room on there. So if you go bigger, it should be more than sufficient. Um, let's go ahead and bust out the hammock and see what we're working with. Some people are seeing this right now and they're thinking, well, I don't want to impede the doors of my vehicle. I'll just hang it off my back hitch. Well, here's the thing. This was developed because some people don't have a hitch on the back of their vehicle. And you basically create one right here. Also, this system is versatile. This bare bones assembly right here, or this hammock mount, can actually be plugged into your existing hitch on your vehicle as well. So you could easily hang it off the back. But if you have a vehicle like mine, and your door opens like this, putting a hammock right here is not practical. Okay, so the last two things to show you are these two plastic or fiberglass rods. They actually go on top of that Bare Bones XL hammock mount. At the very top is a small plastic plug that pops out, giving you a small hole, and you can adjust this rod to the depth that you want. And the main purpose is so that you can actually put these through the grommet holes in a tarp or tie a ridge line across. So far, so good. We're looking outstanding. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the hammock stand itself. In my previous life, I was a welder, and then became a certified welding inspector. I currently hold that license. So when I see something like this, I'm going to critique the living hell out of it. The welds look professional. Everything is cleaned off. All the slag has been chipped. There's no spatter on anything. Everything is powder coated. I'm willing to believe it's probably primed underneath that. It's very professional. The steel itself, rock solid. The welds, perfection, okay? And looking at this right now, there's no bowing, and the rods on the outsides are doing exactly what it's supposed to do. They allow that give for my body weight. Um, I'm happy with this, very happy. HG Hammock Gear. We have a built-in ridge line. That's one thing I love about their hammocks. The ridge line is right here and it's built in. In reality, I could take a tarp, toss it over top of that existing ridge line, stake it out and be good to go. We have a built in mosquito net or bug net. We have D rings everywhere. We have two zippers on each side, which I could actually take this, unzip it all the way around and flop that mosquito net completely off if I wanted to. But out here, we're at the end of the summertime and there's still mosquitoes out here. So tonight it's gonna be perfect. Okay, so messing around with that tarp right here gave me an idea. Instead of staking the thing out in an A-frame shape and then crawling inside of it, why not utilize these two trees? There's one there and one right there.
Okay, so both those vertical poles are in the ground and I want to connect a ridge line between those and put that tarp over top. But what's going to happen if I tighten that ridge line, the poles are going to actually bend inward. So what I'm thinking about doing is getting a long piece of cordage and making a clove hitch going around the poles. And then that will give me two pigtails. And then use a marline spike hitch and a stake and stake them opposite of each other. Like pull this one this way, the other one that way. So when I connect a ridge line, it'll be like this, it'll bring them together. And they'll pull against each other at the same time, if that makes sense. So we're tied off the clove hitch right here. We have our two pigtails that come down to our stakes. So what I want to do here is take this 64 ounce bush pot from Self Reliance Outfitters and one of their larger grills. I'm going to place it inside here just like that. There's a rack. If you look at it, there's dead air space underneath. And the idea is to place the Cornish game hen on top of that, close my oven up, then go ahead and take the coals and stack it all the way around this bad boy. And I'm hoping that it will superheat it. To the point where it's just like an oven. The heat's going to move around that Cornish hen and cook it.
All right, Cornish hen or a baby chicken. And potatoes, corn, onions, cooked in oil, and cooked to perfection. That seasoning is outstanding. Wow. Now, I chose a different meal because I wanted to push myself and I've never done this before. I've never cooked a Cornish hen inside of a bucket before. And it turned out outstanding. Mm. I'm gonna sit here and eat all of this. Catch you all in a few. Mm. Okay, dessert time. We have the most stuff. Oreos. And stuffed puffs milk chocolate inside of a marshmallow. Mm. Mm. Fluffing delicious. Okay, this is just so ridiculous, it's stupid. We have stuffed puffs, chocolate inside of a marshmallow, inside of the most stuffed Oreo cookie, giving you a chocolate s'moreo. Mmm. Oh my god. Diabetes AF. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Catch you all in a few. About ready to put me under. Um, that or a diabetic coma. Oh, God. Anyway, uh, a lot of you see in that Coleman lantern, you're asking yourselves, you know, what is he doing? I thought he had a kerosene lantern. Well, I'm experimenting with different things right now for a car kit. The ultimate um, end game here is to get this truck fixed up and then do overland camping in two, three, four, five, six day adventures, going across anywhere from 100 to 900 mile trails things like that and I want to be able to have a kit that works so I'm playing around with these propane uh, the green propane tanks from Walmart and the Coleman Lantern um, I might go to a battery operated one down the road I'm just trying different stuff that's all um, nothing spectacular am I happy with it not really it's too hot and it uses fuel so um, I'll play with it for the next couple of videos and then either keep it or drop it but right now I'm kind of indifferent I'm not happy. I'm not sad either. I'm just indifferent. Kind of like blah, you know. Take it or leave it. I don't know. Okay, so check this out. This is awesome. Here's an update on my knife. The Campin' Trail Corporal Kelly Edition. We dropped 100 knives at 1 p.m. September 24th. That was a Friday. Within 17 minutes, they all sold out. So that's good to know you guys want this knife. So that tells Self Alliance Outfitters that they need to make more. So as they make more, I'll let you know what time they're going to post. And you guys will get a second chance, third chance, fifth chance, 10,000th chance to get this knife. Um, the first hundred were just an initial run just to see who wanted them. And like I said, they sold out in 17 minutes. So I'm happy with that. Um, all of you that got one, this was the first run. And you guys are part of that. And I thank you. Uh, everyone else, get in line, take a number, because they're coming. Be ready. Just putting that tarp like that, you can see the smoke right there. There's no bugs, and that heat is actually going around. I can actually feel it down here, too. So I'm happy with that. Um, we'll talk about the tarp tomorrow. We'll talk about the hammock and the hammock stand. Um, that's actually a DD tarp, if you guys didn't know that. Um, I haven't used that thing in like two years, so I busted it out. I'm happy with it. it. Does the job. But we'll talk about this whole configuration contraption tomorrow. Um, update right now. What I'm looking at is trying to acquire between 60 and 70 acres of my own. It's got a creek on there, two ponds, so that could open the door to fishing and all kinds of cool stuff. But you know how that goes. You try to get property from somebody else. You got to take out loans. You got to go through the whole 
BS, yada, yada, yada. Um, if I actually get that and I score it, I'll let you guys know. And we'll do a walkthrough and some cool overnighters. Um, this property's got a lot more things to offer than this spot right here or my other one. And um, I'm really hoping the ponds are stocked. If not, I might look into that. But that's just something I'm toying with and playing with. I got school starting October 25th. Anthropology course, number one class. Um, let's see, what else are we doing? Monday, taking the vehicle in, get AC serviced, heater core serviced. And I'm going to mess around with the headlights and try to get them brighter. I'm going to see if they can do something with that. And if I'm lucky, buff the paint out. Just as a kind of a, you know, just for now type thing before I can actually get it painted. But those are all things I'm playing with. So as the upgrades come, we'll look at them. Other than that, I'm going to throw some wood in that fire and then hit the rack. Catch you all in the morning. nipply out <sighs> coffee time okay so before we kick off the coffee time here I mentioned last night I have a new stove that I'm playing with this is going to be available in 2022 from self Alliance Outfitters I believe they're calling it the Pathfinder camp multi-fuel stove and you can see the size difference here so I'm thinking about carrying this in my truck for my overland trips um, you can see that a large bush pot or skillet would be a lot more stable on this but the best part is that it's multi-fuel meaning it will take white gas propane butane and even unleaded fuel from your vehicle so if i ran out of gas i could simply take a siphon pump or just suck the gas out of it and put it in this small container and then attach this to here and then pump it up and you're good to go there's also an adapter that you can use these green cans right here as well as the small butane um, camp fuels from like Walmarts. So I think this is a lot more versatile, but I mean, like I said, I'm gonna try it out today. Only time will tell. Okay, so there's been a lot of complaints about me changing my videos up and people are saying, you used to do gear reviews, we want to see a gear review. Well, this whole video was nothing but a gigantic gear review. So I hope you appreciate that. Um, those that don't like it, I apologize. We'll switch back to our normal programming or normal broadcasting shortly. Okay, so we tested a McLean Metalworks Bare Bones XL hammock mount and tire stand assembly and our HG hammock gear hammock with bug net and built-in ridge line. Both are outstanding. Um, took our DD tarp, placed it over top of our vehicle in a slanted or lean-to configuration, and things worked out well. But for me, the highlight was cooking that Cornish hen in that bush pot. That worked out well. And in my opinion, opens the door to a lot more bush crafty type meals or camp meals. So um, with that, more things to come. And there you go, solo overnight, overland camping in the woods. Doesn't get much better than that. Oh wait, it will. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now please do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.